video, now that we have our moles, we want to make our VR environment. So I'm going to go ahead, minimize our moles, and I'm going to make a empty object. I'm going to call it room. For my room, let's go ahead and make a cube. Let's make the cube really, really big. So let's make the X something like 40. If I zoom out, it'll be that Y. Let's make it 30. And yeah, that should be good. And I'll make my Y 30 as well. Uh, let's make it like 20. Uh, 20 will work. And let's make our Z something like 70. So if you look at this, this is our room. So if we go inside of our room, we can kind of see our guy. I'm going to drag my room up to kind of be there. Now let's go ahead and color the room. Let's make a material room color. Now instead of the shader being standard, we're going to change that to particles and then we're going to do standard surface. And then here, let's go ahead and pick a color. So I'm going to do two-sided and let's make it I have like a weird color room and I'll do plus one say like that so I'm going to ahead and drag this to my cube and because I did two sided you can see this looks like it's inside of my room and this is where our VR environment will be but what I want to do is make sure our cube is not floating. So I want to make that like that's the floor. Let me drag it down a little bit. Yep. Alright, so now we have our room. Let's go ahead and make some stripes on the wall. So I'm going to call this building. right click and duplicate this make this 10 by 10 actually let's make it five, 1 by 1 and I'm going to pull that to the side like that and let's put a different color on it and this is going to be my wall stripe Duplicate that, drag it down, duplicate that, drag it up, put these two inside of here. And I'll duplicate this guy and pull him on this side. And there we go. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and put a wood floor in. So, minimize those my room let's put in our root of four right click 3d object and do a plane I'm going to scale this plane up so I'm going to make it the size of our room there and I'm going to make it the length which of our floor there I want to make a wood floor. So I'm going to go to Google Images and say wood floor texture. And I like this one, so I'm going to save this. And I'll save it in desktop and my VR folder. I'll call it wood floor. So 
back in Unity. So now that it's saved, I'm going to do show in Finder. Back in Unity. Drag this directly here. Now that I've draw, dragged that there, I'm going to drag it directly onto my material. And now you can see I have that. And let's go ahead and put that on our floor. There we have. We have our room. Now we want to have some words on the front. We want some posters and we want a door. So this plane, let's go ahead and call it floor. Now here, let's go ahead and make our doors and our posters. So again, 3D object for our posters. I'm going to do plane again. And go back. Let's find some posters. Let's say I wanted this poster. Now let's get some older posters. So I want this Pac-Man poster. I'll save that as Pac-Man poster. And see what else we have. I'll save this X-Men poster. Let's do this Donkey Kong poster. Again, I will do show and finder, show and folder. Go back to Unity and drag in my three posters. So for this poster, let's make that one Donkey Kong. Put it up, but now I need to rotate it. That is 90. I also want to rotate this way. This is also 90. can scale it up. So there's one poster. Duplicate this guy, bring him over. This one will be my Pac-Man. Duplicate this guy, bring him over. This will be my X-Man. And there you go. You have the room is kind of coming together. Now on this side, we want some doors. That's going to be 3D objects, going to be cube. Put it this way. Let's scale it. Let's make it 10. And 15. And if we make the height 10. Fifteen. If 
Clear. Let's make it taller. for the doors and this is door I'll duplicate that and scale it This is the window. So now I'll duplicate that door, drag it across, and move this window over here. And there we go. We have our doors. Last up, we're going to add some text. Game text. So I'm going to right click 3D object, 3D text. wall. I'm going to have the school. Here I'll change this to arcade. Font size, let's make it 20. Make it a lot bigger. Let's make it 70. And let's drag it back to the wall. And we have to make sure it's inside. So something like that. So I want it here, here. Should be better. There we go. So I'll go ahead and duplicate this, bring it down. Let's make this 30. And this one will be called school. And this will be our school. The other wall, we're going to have the your name, the timer, and the score. Well, let's just make it easy. Let's duplicate this. And what I'm going to do is zoom out and drag it all the way across. Make sure you stay inside of the room. And see, now it's backwards. So let's just rotate it 180. So 
So this will be score text. It will say score and zero. I'll duplicate this, bring it up. This one will be 20. This will be called created by. This will be your name. And again, I might want to let's make this 30. For my score text, let's make it a different color. I don't like that blue. And then, the very bottom, duplicate one more. Down here, this is going to be called timer text. And this is going to say whack a mole with 0, 0.0, which will be the timer. And let's make that 20. Now let's make it 25. And there we go. We will be updating this. This will keep our score. And now our room is complete. And now our room is complete. Watch the next video to learn how to code.